Right, in this video I'm going to go through the factor or product angle formulae. So here goes. So factor or sometimes it's called the product angle formulae. Okay, so I hope you can see that. So let me underline that. So I'm going to go through the ones uh, relating to sine and cos. Okay, so in general, the first one is the formula for sine A plus sine B. So sine A plus sine B, so I hope you can see that. Sine A plus sine B has the form 2 sine A plus B. B over 2 cos A minus B over 2. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one is for sine A minus sine B. So that has the form 2 cos A plus B over 2 sine a minus B over 2. Okay, so the next one is the identity for cos A plus cos B. So cos A plus cos B has to form 2 cos A plus B over 2 cos A minus B over 2. And finally, there's one for cos A minus cos B that has the form minus 2 sine. So minus 2 sine A plus B over 2. Okay. Sine A minus B over 2. Okay. So let's take an example. So, in our example number one, let's underline that. So, if the question was, uh, well, the question is to solve um, in the range, so all of the x angles between 0 and 360, and we're solving this equation, sine 3x plus sine x equals 0. So question is to find um, the angles x which satisfies this equation sine three x plus sine x equals zero. We're looking for all of all of the angles x lying between three sixty and zero degrees inclusive. Now, as I said before, I have an addition of two sine terms only. That for me means use the factor or product angle formulae. Okay, so. Um, in particular, we note that we've got an addition of two sine terms only. So if we look at the factor formula number one, so remember sine A plus B is the formula for us because that is that would give us two sine A plus B over two cos A minus B over two. Okay, so let's apply that formula. So step number one, So we're going to be using, so let me do that as a side calculation. So we're going to be using sine A plus sine B. That is 2 sine A plus B over 2 cos A minus B over 2. Okay, so as we can see, if we compare the left hand side of the equation in question with the left hand side of this identity purely by comparison we see that a is 3x and if I take a green pen b is x so let's make a note of that so a 3x b x so if I replace the A and the B on the right hand side of this identity, 
let's rewrite this equation as 2 sine, so I have 2 sine a is 3x plus b, so plus b is x divided by 2, okay, cos a is 3x minus b which is x divided by 2 and that is equal to the 0 on the right, okay. So if we simplify we'll have 2 sine 3x plus x is 4x over 2 is 2x, okay, cos 3x minus x is 2x over 2 is x which equals to 0, okay. So that takes us to the second step. Now remember in maths we can't cancel by a variable, you can only cancel by constants, so over here we have two equations that we need to solve. So either 2 sine 2x equals 0. So if I divide both sides by 2, we have sine 2x equals 0. So that is the first equation that we need to solve. Or cos x is equal to 0. So we'll call that equation number 2. Okay, so we have two equations arising from this equation over here. Okay, so let's solve um, these equations separately, starting with equation number one. So here's equation number one sine 2x is equal to zero. So remember in a previous video, if your angle is not 1x or um, 1 theta, for example, so if you're, so in this case, our angle is 2x, so I'm going to use a substitution here to help me. So I'm going to let t equal that angle. So let t equal 2x in this case. And by doing so, our equation becomes sine t is equal to 0. Okay, so let me use the uh, cast diagram to help me here. So zero on the right hand side we assume to be positive when drawing it on our cast diagram. Firstly the principal value t is the inverse sine of zero that is zero degrees so that's our principal value. Okay so let's draw that cast diagram Let's mark the quadrants, so A, S, T and C. And um, over here, our sine is positive. So sine is positive, so let's plot zero degrees where sine is positive, which is, um, whoops, these two quadrants, quadrants one and two. So zero degrees from the horizontal in quadrant one is represented by this line and zero degrees in quadrant number uh, two is represented by this line. Now bearing in mind everyone, bearing in mind that we're calculating the T solutions first and also thinking about it, to work out the X angles which is what we need, we're going to divide all of our T solutions by two Okay, and our range also lies between 0 and 360 inclusive. So let's work out all of the T solutions first. Okay, bearing in mind that we need to divide them by 2 to work out the X solutions, which should all lie between 0 and 360 inclusive. Okay, so the first solution will be 0. Okay. So T1 will be 0 degrees. Second solution for T, T2 from our initial line until we strike that line there. So that is 180 degrees. Okay. So uh, if you look at it mentally, so mentally speaking, to work out the X solutions, X will be T divided by 2, so 0 for the first one divided by 2 is 0 degrees. Next solution for X is 180 
divided by 2, so that's going to be 90 degrees, so we need some more. Another solution for T, T3, will be one complete revolution from the initial line, so that is 360 degrees, okay? And remember, 360 over 2 will be 180 degrees, and that would lie in our range from 0 to 360 inclusive, so we need some more, okay? So T4 will be, so let me take a different colored pen, a red pen, from the initial line right round until you hit that second line again okay so if you think about it one revolution is 360 plus the angle from here to there okay so the angle from there to there is 180 okay so that's going to give us 540 degrees okay and 540 divided by 2 to work out the x angle okay so 540 over 2 would lie within this range okay so 270 um, in other words will lie in that range between 0 and 360 another one t5 will be two revolutions so two revolutions from the initial line so 360 or two lots of 360 that is 720 degrees and mentally speaking if you if we calculate 720 divided by 2 we'll get 360 degrees and that would lie within our range because 360 is included in that range okay so these are the T solutions or the T angles. Let's work out the X angles using these T angles. So let me continue. So um, let me continue on this side. So since T equals 2X, so remember T equals 2X arises from what we used here okay so therefore x will be t divided by 2 so let's work out the, the solutions for x so therefore solutions for x are so I'll call the first solution x1 x1 will be t1 divided by 2 so let's refer to the previous page so t1 is 0 remember so 0 divided by 2 is 0 degrees the next one x2 t2 over 2 so t2 if we go back to the reverse side was 180 so 180 divided by 2 that is 90 degrees x3 is t3 over 2 so let's remind ourselves t3 was 360 so 360 divided by 2 180 degrees okay so x4 t4 over 2 t4 was 540 so 540 divided by 2 that is 270 degrees okay and x5 will be t5 over 2 t5 was 720 so if you remember that was our solution for t5 divided by 2 360 degrees okay so these are all of the angles x for bearing in mind the first equation over here sine 2x equals 0 however we have another equation to solve equation number 2 cos x equals 0 so let's solve that also so equation 2 <coughs> cos x is equal to 0 so 0 we would regard as positive so for the principal value x is the inverse cos of 0 Okay, so 
in this case if you work out the inverse cos of zero that should be a standard result okay so that should be 90 degrees okay so cos 90 gives you zero okay so if you plot that on your cast diagram so it would be better to draw it on a separate cast diagram because if you mark all of your angles on one cast diagram it's going to get it's going to get really messy okay so i would if i were in your shoes use a separate diagram for uh, the second equation let's include some quadrants so 90 degrees where cos is positive quadrants one quadrants four measure the angle from the horizontal so in the first quadrant 90 from the horizontal is this line here in the fourth quadrant 90 from the horizontal is this line over here okay so in this case if we work out um, some solutions using this diagram the first solution from the initial line until you hit this line so in this case since I called the previous one x5 x6 will be 90 degrees okay but that's been repeated so that's the same as x2 that we had okay and another one from the initial line until we hit that second line so that angle is 270 degrees and 270 x7 has been repeated from the previous solution for x which was x4 that I've named okay so these solutions are repeated so in some cases you would get new solutions okay but in this case these solutions for x6 and x7 have been repeated okay when doing when solving um, equation number one okay however these are the stages this is the method in order to solve um, trigonometric equations such as these so whenever you have an addition of um, two signs or two causes okay this this sometimes works but quite often the case you might need to use the factor or product angle formulae Okay, so I hope you found this uh, video helpful.